Hey, um, um, first I think I want to get started by this. All those out there that have supported me, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate everything y'all do for me. I really, truly do. And hey, if there's any way I can pay y'all back, I would definitely do that. And I just want to let you in on a little bit of what's going on right now. I'm still fighting and, and trying to save my home. I, I feel a little bit better because I, I, I had a few folks, you know, lend a helping hand and uh, put a little in my cash app. They put on my PayPal. I had $10 on my GoFundMe. I ain't never had no real belief in GoFundMe, but I, there is the link that's underneath um, my videos. For GoFundMe, God Almighty, I got him. But anyway, ugh, just killed a spider. Ugh, let me cringe. Anyway, <laughs> I, I don't really have the boohoo's tonight, and I think I've had a lot of positive words come my way. Um, last night I got word that a Family, I'm, I want to call a family member. I really wasn't close to her, but my daughter and my grandson are, and she's a young lady. Her name is Amanda Tessner. She's from Fartburg, South Carolina. She passed away. Uh, it wasn't last night. It was the night that I put the my last videos up. Um, unexpectedly, she was only probably maybe. 33, 34 years old, and, um, she was just on Facebook just a day or so ago, I was like, and she, she was fine, everything was fine, so, I got word from her mother that she had passed away, and of course, that was definitely a shock, um, and I want to take a second here now to say, Lynn, um, I'm trying not to be brought back to tears tonight, trust me. But Lynn Tessner, I feel bad about your daughter and everything that you're having to go through. I'll send my prayers to you. Um, I know this is hard on Alex and and my daughter Rhonda. And I want to send some very heartfelt condolences. See, so I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time now holding back my tears. Because of this, because Amanda was so young, and we we're dearly going to miss her. Everybody's going to miss her. Um, but you know, we'll we'll see her again soon. We'll we'll see her again soon. I do believe that God does uh, keep His promises. We'll all see each other in heaven. I uh, hope. Just hope it's. <laughs> I hope it's a better around the next time than it was this time. Lord have mercy. Uh, but, you know, your daughter has known my daughter ever since they were little kids in school. I, I never expected things to go down the way they did. It pours. But all I know is when God closes one door, He always opens another. No matter what. Um, my strong belief in God is what's going to bring me through all this mess. And everything's going to work out okay. And, um, I tell you, I got a sweet surprise today. Friend I had sent me a birthday card. My birthday is next week. I'm a, yes, Queen Changeling's a Thanksgiving baby. So check this out. <laughs> I'll show you this. Somebody sent me this. It says, to... I can't read it. I can't read it backwards. <laughs> to maintain positive attitude as we get older, there's nothing better than a good workout. <laughs> that's true. Nothing better than a good workout. And that's what I've been sitting here doing is I've been doing my workouts for my pick three and pick four. You know, I think my I think my skills are getting better. I'm feeling better. And then they put, work out a hot number, work out, um, which, 
I can't read backwards. Oh, Lord. Which happy hour to go to, what drink to, to get, and what appetizer to order. Happy birthday, Roxy. Roxy, you are a sweet old gal. <laughs> I had to show it. I hope you don't kill me somewhere along the line, but no. I love this little card. Um, things are going to be okay. Um, I am feeling a lot better, though. I got some numbers. I'm doing Ohio. No, excuse me. You know, I will do Ohio short here in a minute. But already I've got Florida. I've got Texas. I've got South Carolina and Georgia already done up. So, I did hit a couple of states yesterday. Granted that I'm not feeling great and I was all whiny whiny and cry cry. I, was, I hate being, I hate it when I get like that. I don't get like that very often. I think everybody needs a good cry every now and then. Um, I was crying like I really lost my behind. I mean, trust me, I ain't spending no money on nothing right now. We're just trying to get this money up for these taxes for this house so I can save my home. And that's what I got that, that I'm really, really seriously worried about. Uh, like I said, I appreciate anything y'all can do to throw me out. If I had 100 people just to put $5, $5 on that uh, GoFundMe, and there is a link down at the bottom of the video. I've got my link down at several of my last few videos that I put up for the GoFundMe. Just five dollars. Hire people just five dollars. That would that would see Queen Chingling through and that would that would make it that 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 would make me feel a whole lot better. A whole lot less stressed. Listen, y'all, I'm out of here. Queen Chingling is out of here. And uh, I'm gonna I'm thinking about doing a sneak what I called that last time I did, what I throw some numbers out here. I don't really want to throw numbers out on the YouTube, though. I really don't. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it, okay? So, watch out. Just be clean, chilling, and I'm out of here.